Halliburton working with Turner. Turner stopped, and they turn it over. Ananobi, Ananobi! Wow. Stephon Marbury enjoying it. Pacers need a bucket. Siakam comes right back. Missed it. He slipped. And OG Ananobi's defense is taking over right here. Two steals and then a big stop. 7-0 run. Knicks lead by two. Brunson over Nemhard. Cash it in. As automatic. Well, remember, Stephon Marbury's not only a Knicks alum, he's a New York City guy. As is the guy next to him. Clyde Frazier. The chill approach. Neesmith, big free throws right there in the clutch. Knicks lead it by two. Tart gets a step. Showed it. Nothing there. Turns it over. Up ahead, here's Siakam who lays it in. Nimhart set him up beautifully. We are tied at 113. He scored at least 12 in the last five playoff games. And guarding Brunson here. Brunson shifty. Looking for contact. Brunson got it. Tied once again. Two timeouts each. And that is a kicked ball. Well, Aaron Neesmith saying he didn't kick it. Got it with his hand. Pacers can't challenge a kick ball. Which Rick Carlisle's assistants were quick to tell him and the players. Sitting on 40. Kicks it. DiVincenzo. Three-pointer. Does Indiana try to go quick on a two for one? Looks like they would like to. See, Occam falls down. A little bit of a scramble here. Siakam guarded by Ananobi. Two former Raptors going at it. Siakam, strong layup. Knicks still lead it by a point. Three officials come together, and Tyler Ford comes in and says, Pacers ball. Neither Zarba or Wright were able to make that call, and Tom Thibodeau takes the timeout to challenge this. They do not need to take a foul here. Ooh, almost gave it away. Now Brunson is surrounded. Brunson, oh, throws it off Halliburton. And that'll be Nick's ball. No, it's going to be oh, Indiana ball. Indiana came ball. Back and hit Brunson out of bounds. And the Knicks are out of challenges, even if they thought they got it wrong. You're right. That's a correct call. call by Zach Zarba. He got it exactly right. Now... Here is Halliburton. Shot clock is off. Indiana down a point at Madison Square Garden. And Turner will be called for an offensive foul on the screen. That is shocking. You never see that call at this point in the game. Wow. I mean, never. DiVincenzo hit the deck, sold it. That is a great acting job. A lot of great actors here in New York City. You see him on Broadway all the time. That's as good an acting job as you'll see. He technically was moving a little bit. Indiana's going to challenge. Good call! There you go. Well, and the problem here now is, too, you got to make sure you get this foul early enough that you have time to play coming back because you don't have a timeout to stop the clock. And that's a oh, killer right there. Yeah, Brunson. So that's a foul on Nimhart. But the ball still placed out of bounds. Going to get a tee here. Brunson has been clutched from the line tonight. 
That was the only blemish in that series against Philadelphia, really late in that series. He had some trouble. They didn't take the foul in game five. They took fouls in game six to prevent the three. Center cut. Hasn't missed at the line tonight. They're down four, up ahead. Halliburton. Halliburton looked like he rolled his ankle. He turns it over. Knicks have it. OG Ananobi dribbles it out. And game one belongs to the New York Knicks. The Villanova three scoring 33 of the 39 fourth quarter points. The rest of our crew, Brian Anderson saying good night from MSG. You've been watching the NBA on TNT, exclusive home.